Hello, everyone. Welcome back around the drum. I'm Tay. This is David. That is Jay. Today, we have sound samples of the WA-47 Junior by Warm Audio. Please leave a comment below. We want to hear what you think uh, about this microphone, how it sounds, in your opinion. This is part of our $2,000 starter studio giveaway, so click the link below to get signed up now. This is actually the microphone you're going to win, that one that we use in the sound samples. And don't forget to subscribe and hit like on this yes. video for more content like this. David, what uh, setup are we going to use for this first sound sample? First, we're going to be showcasing the uh, WA-47 Junior on acoustic guitar. We had it mic'd up about a foot away um, from the upper bow of the body. I'm playing a D'Angelico XL Lexington guitar. You can find it in the link below. Up next, we've got uh, some vocal takes, just me and Tay speaking into it. We're not great singers by any means, so we didn't want to hurt so, your ears with that. So we just talk here. Yeah. <laughs> it would have been entertaining. You should have done it. True. And maybe next time. <laughs> this is the WA-47 Junior. Roses are blue. Violets are red. What did you get for Halloween? Because I got Chewbacca's head. So I don't have a poem because I am not that creative. But what I got for Halloween was the super exciting announcement of My Chemical Romance announcing a reunion show. Uh, leave me a note in the comments of what you guys think, um, if you're excited or uh, if you're like, eh, don't care. But I, I'm, I'm pretty stoked. We'll see where this goes. All right, up next we have drums. Uh, the, the 47 FET is a classic kick mic, um, so we want to try this guy on the outer kick. And then we've got it soloed and then uh, we bring in the rest of the kit as well and go back and forth. Up next, we've got the 47 Junior on the room mic, and we put it in the, the adjacent room in figure eight mode just to get some extra room reflections, and I uh, thought it sounded the best.
All right, guys, let's talk about this. Jay, uh, first, before we get into our opinions, what is this microphone? Where did it come from and why does it exist? <laughs> Where did it go? <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully to you. Uh, the, the WA-47 Junior is inspired by the original Neumann FET-47, okay. which is a famous microphone that's used in a lot of studios. A lot of, a lot of people like using it on kick. And um, This is the vocals, junior vocals. version, right, of something? Yeah, it's... Well, they... Warm calls it the junior, but Neumann just calls it the FET 47. Okay. Yeah, there's a tube version and a FET version. Okay. Yeah, and both of them are very famous. The The tube version is obviously a, a bit more famous. It's a classic vocal microphone. That and Warm Audio makes very the well WA-47. I've used them a lot. I love them. I've used both both the original Neumann U47 and the FET 47. And um, so I have experience with both to compare this with. And, uh, and Warm also has the WA-47 tube, which is... Um, more of a direct clone of the of the Neumann the tube. Um, U47. The tube yeah. version, right? Yes. What does FET mean, F-E-T? It, well, it's a, an acronym. It stands for Field Effect Transistor. Okay. And so basically, it's, it's replacing the tube with a transistor. And so you're getting a solid state microphone instead of a tube microphone. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, what do you guys think about the acoustic uh, guitar samples? Uh, David. Um, <laughs> generally... <laughs> I thought this mic just sounded really robust, and um, th that's like the best word I can think of to describe it. Okay. Everything sounded like it was right there and just so... It was very full-bodied. Yeah. Time. That's what I thought, too. Yeah. And, and I, I think I preferred it. I think I'm, I... From what I've gleaned from the conversation here a little bit is that I... You guys may preferred it more on drums, but I preferred it probably on acoustic guitar the most. Mm -hmm. I, I prefer it... I don't know. I think it would sound great on a lot of things. I, I loved I it on acoustic. It's a really good general condenser microphone for the studio. Yeah, I agree. Um, let's go over to voice. I thought uh, it, it represented everything well. Mm -hmm. It wasn't as transparent as um, some microphones are, mm -hmm. uh, especially some large uh, condenser microphones are, but um, I really liked it. It kind of uh, it was a little bit forgiving and it had some color to it. Yeah, I, again, I just thought it was really robust, but I did think on the sibilants, it was kind of bright at times. Yeah, you're right. That on was like my only um, only qualm with it was that it was mm -hmm. just a, a little bit bright on some of those sibilants, but otherwise it sounded amazing. Uh, let's go over to drums. Um, I think this acted super well. Again, it's it's kind of like a, uh, a, a jack of all trades for the studio, but uh, mm -hmm. using it on a kick drum, I mean, you've talked about it before, but um, I was actually pleasantly surprised to, to hear it on on the kick drum and it, it performed very well. Well, to be honest, I don't like 47 style mics on, on a kick. That's just my personal preference. I thought it, it sounded good for, for what it was, but um, yeah. I do a lot of rock and metal and that's just not the sound I, I like to hear from a kick. But when we first fired it up, we were like, that it sounds just full and, and there's a lot of depth to it. And we yeah. were commenting like, this would be great for um, you know jazz, or, yeah. or something that you just needed the boom. You, you needed it there. The, 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 so this you, you is didn't where, need to cut where my comment will, will come in is, uh, is I agree. I didn't like it on somebody who was hitting it hard because you were hitting it really hard. Mm -hmm. And I, I didn't really care for it in that capacity because you're going to have a dense mix and it's just taking up way too much space in the, yeah. in the frequency spectrum. Yeah. However, I would have loved to have heard it if, if you had, were hitting it soft like a jazz musician because I think mm -hmm. it could be really cool as yeah. if it were just getting a, 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 the woof. That, that woof of the yeah. kick drum. Cause it, and in jazz, you tend to have a little bit more space too. So, mm -hmm. it, yeah. Yeah. so <laughs> that was definitely my take is like I really would have loved to have heard it in that set. And, and to be fair, like a lot of times when I've seen U47s used on kick drums in, in the studio – it, it was a lot of times in like jazz and things like that okay. to begin with. So yeah. I don't know that I've seen it used in rock. I'm sure some people do, but it was mostly for jazz and things like that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, with, with a soft, yes. you know, kick drum. Yeah. Probably kick, a real fluffy soft beater. Drummer. Yeah. So yeah. I think yes, that, yes. Mm -hmm. Big kick drum, soft, fluffy beater. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In that situation, I think it, it uh, showed what it, it can do. Um, for that style, um, I, right? If we were going to be adding guitars and and bass and vocals and and you know more cymbal hits and everything, it, it would have been just kind of like drowned out. Yeah, right. I mean, all that said, I think with the whole drum mix, I mean everything was raw. Mm -hmm, yeah, um, and we had the Lewitt LTC. 040 match mm -hmm. on the overheads and a stealth on the snare, which I thought sounded great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I thought with that whole mix of mics, I thought it sounded pretty decent. 
better than I thought it was going to, just because I don't like 47 style mics. Yeah, and I don't, kick. I've not, not seen it like used like that without an interior kick mic, too. Right. So that would have yeah. been interesting to hear what that would have sounded like. Yeah, usually yeah. You're, if you're going to use a large condenser, you're going to use another dynamic yeah, microphone. Yeah, you're using to that help. just to capture yeah. a certain element of the yeah. sound, not the whole sound, usually. Yeah. But we wanted to show you guys what it sounded like, you know, just outside the kick drum, and then, uh, you know, you can kind of hear what yeah, it sounds Yeah, I mean, people who have used the FET 47. They, they know what that sounds like with just one kick mic. They can kind of compare from that. Yeah. And I, I was really surprised at how little bleed it got. I know. I that was, was very incredible. Shocked. I was really surprised by that, too. Yeah. It, was, it was really tight on the kick drum. Yeah. I was, I was pretty blown away. For a condenser microphone. It was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's move on to, I guess, my favorite part. Just because I love... Uh, room mics on drums because mm -hmm. it's just fun. I don't know yeah. what it is. It's just it's 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 you know you throw it up there and you can just either crush it with compression and it sounds amazing, but this you get the room sound. So we put it in the adjacent room. Um, mm -hmm. You can, you saw that in the video, um, and then you did the figure eight pattern. We kind of uh, switched the patterns around to test it. So talk about yeah, that. We were testing. Um, so this is multi pattern mic. It has cardioid, omni, and um, figure eight, and we landed on figure eight because it got enough focus from the whole kit with some reflection of the room. Omni was way too bright. We got too much symbol. Um, and then cardioid was way too focused on the kit. And, uh, and we didn't get enough room of reflection again. So um, yeah, we landed on figure eight and I thought that sounded really cool. I did too. I thought it captured that room very well, which that room doesn't sound amazing. You know, it's not an acoustically designed space. We're, mm -hmm. we're putting panels up on the wall and stuff to try to control mm -hmm. it and get rid of the bad spots in the room. But, you know, I thought it sounded like that room and I thought it captured the kit really well. Yeah. I, I like in the, that in oh, that perspective. Ahead. Yeah, I thought it added the character of that room. Yeah. And that's why I think room mics are fun because you <laughs> yeah. get character from yeah. them. It's true. Yeah. Um, I've talked to you guys about this, but I, I think um, when it's time for me to get a large condenser microphone for my studio, this is probably where I'm going to land first yeah. and then move up from there. Uh, I think it's a, a Swiss Army knife of, of large condenser microphones. Um, I had a C1, uh, Studio Project C1, and I it got rid of it because I wasn't using it. But mm -hmm. that also, I really like that microphone. But this one, <clears throat> I think, is just uh, this sounds it's a, better. It's a little better. It's more versatile because of the multi-pattern. Yeah. Yep. Um, nature of the microphone. So yeah, I would definitely go with this over something like the C1. And you guys know I like the C1 quite yeah. a lot mm -hmm. for, for the price point. I think that that's a great sounding microphone. Mm -hmm. But I'm still shocked to see this at 399. I'm like, 299. 299? Yeah, 299 for a multi. Hey. Wow. <laughs> okay, now you got to go get two. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, at that price point, I think it's a killer oh, deal. Yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a great general purpose condenser microphone for the studio. <laughs> so would you get one? Yeah, absolutely. Because yeah. I don't have a deep mic locker. Okay. So this is exactly the type of microphone mm -hmm. I'd like to add. I'd like to add this and the either the WA forty seven or the uh, two fifty one and, yeah. and that's those are both very high on my list. Yeah. How about you, David? I would totally get a pair of these. Yeah. Yeah. I'd love to hear it on like piano. I think okay. it'd be oh, yeah. amazing on yeah. piano. Um, I had a, a list of things here. Piano. Oh, uh, strings like an orchestra. Like I think yeah. it'd be amazing in Omni for that. Oh yeah. So if you guys are doing film stuff, let us know what you think of this. Yeah. And we're, we are giving this one away. This is included in our studio um, giveaway. $2,000 studio giveaway. And this could be yours. I mean, we are trying to get rid of this. All you have to do is go sign up. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I'll take it. <laughs> no, you're, you're disqualified. Uh, and you work here. Um, but, you know, if you guys have other suggestions of what you would use this for, um, we want to hear about it. So leave a comment below. What did you think of the sound samples? What would you use this microphone for? Um, and then would you get one? Or would you want to win one? <laughs> <laughs> um, go over to pixelproaudio.com slash all access and get signed up for our newsletter. Uh, you will be entered in to win every single giveaway we have uh, to the end of time. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit like to this video if you want to see more content like this. It's the best way to help us out uh, to keep providing stuff like this. So you guys have any else to say about the WA-47 Junior? I think we've said it all. We've said it all. Everything. We'll see you on the drum next time. Let's talk uh, thoughts now. Intersperse in your opinions. Maybe, but I don't know if it's interesting. <laughs> don't make me laugh! <laughs> Sure. Can you do that? Right up top. Agree. Okay. <clears throat> um. <laughs> <laughs>
I think I heard giveaway four or five times. Uh, no, just... mm -hmm. I think you could either A, clink, clink, the link, or B, <laughs> perfection. Yeah, but do we have that footage? I don't, I'm not sure. Maybe. Field emit transmitter. <laughs> and that is J. Today we have sound samples of the WA47. <laughs> Wasn't in the right spot. You got what you want. You don't Inappropriate. Have to, you don't... In addition, this is the actual. Oh, <laughs> 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 man, Tay. Oh, my God, we gotta look this up. Okay, go ahead. Because <clears throat> they get to see more of us. But if you mix that together, you're gonna start crying again. <laughs> You don't know what you hear. <laughs> Clink the link. <laughs> <laughs>